The Thai Burma Railway can be described as an engineering marvel. The railway was 258 miles long and had over 600 bridges, including the notorious Bridge Over the River Kwai. The labor force was made up of 50,000 allied POWs and Asian slave laborers. The most infamous site of all was known to the prisoners as Hellfire Pass, and it lived up to its name. Well, if you look at the land profile, you can see the mountaintop comes down here, dropping down, and then it rises to this hill on the right. So what you have is a natural V in the mountainside. The Japanese engineers pegged their line through that natural V. The total project in this section here, they actually started here in November 1942, and the railway ran through here in August 1943. So almost eight months by the time they finished this section of railway. The Japanese engineers had an established technique for creating cuttings such as Hellfire. The first job is to clear all of the vegetation. Then you remove any topsoil that may be there, because that's easy to dig it out, throw that away. Then with sledgehammers, you would break away any sort of outcropping rocks, and then you start drilling. They drill the meter deep holes, charge them with dynamite, light the fuse and run, boom. By early 1943, Hellfire Pass posed a serious problem for the Japanese. The railway had been lined up on either side, but the cutting still wasn't ready. What happened next would give Hellfire Pass its name. They wanted this finished, so they went to two 12-hour shifts. They were working daytime and nighttime. The only way you can work at nighttime is to illuminate it. They did have some power lights, but most of the light came from fires. Most of the men here are of Christian origin, and as young Christians, we're brought up with our vision of hell as being the devil and the fires of hell. Hellfire got the name Hellfire Pass because of the night scene of the burning fires and the skeletal men working as slaves in front of the devil. 